So the Premier League returns this weekend and there's a big relegation six-pointer here at the Emirates. It's the Arsenal versus Norwich match preview. Hello, my name is Richard. Welcome back to my channel over and over and over again, the Arsenal podcast. On this video, I'm going to look ahead to this weekend's clash with Norwich here at the Emirates. Of course, the two bottom sides in the Premier League after three games with no points and just one goal between us. Just before I get into all that, I just want to make sure that you are subscribing to my channel. If you do enjoy what I do, please click on the subscribe button. It is free of charge. It does help the channel to reach a larger audience as well as the men's team. I do coverage of the Arsenal women as well. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a like. Please share the content around. And if you've got any comments at all to make about the game on Saturday against Norwich, it's a big game, isn't it now? A really, really big game. And um, please drop them in the comments box below as I do love to hear from you guys as well. So in history then, Arsenal and Norwich have met on 60 previous occasions in all competitions. Arsenal have won 29, there's been 20 draws and Norwich have won 11. We're actually unbeaten in our last 10 home meetings with Norwich. That goes back to August 1992, of course, the very first ever game in the Premier League when we lost 4-2 at Highbury. Since then, we've won seven and drawn three of those last 10 games. In fact, we've won the last five at the Emirates, that goes back to May 2012, the last home game of the season when we drew 3-3 in a very exciting game, which actually Robin Van Persie's last game for Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. We've only actually lost one of our last 20 games against Norwich in all competitions. That's home and away. We've won 11 and drawn eight of those. And that again goes back to that August 1992 match when Norwich came from 2-0 down to win 4-2. In fact, we've only ever lost two games at home to Norwich in the league, and that's in 26 previous meetings. The first of those was the final game of the 1986-87 season when Norwich won 2-1 at Highbury. And then again, it was that game, the first game of the Premier League season in August 1992 when Norwich won 4-2. So they've never actually won a game at the Emirates. <laughs> So probably one of the most memorable recent meetings with Norwich at the Emirates Stadium came in October 2013. It turned out to be a 4-1 Arsenal victory. Of course, the game will always be remembered for that fantastic goal from Jack Wilshire after 18 minutes. Some lovely football by Arsenal. One touch play on the edge of the penalty and of course, Wilshire finished from about eight yards. Um, we did double our lead in the second half. It was uh, Mesut Ozil's first Premier League goal, actually, for Arsenal. Put us in control. Johnny House and pulled a goal back with 20 minutes to go. And Norwich maybe felt as though they could perhaps have come back and got a draw. But it was two late goals. Aaron Ramsey scored an absolutely brilliant goal as well. Cutting inside in the penalty area. Leaving a couple of defenders in his wake before finishing at the near post. And then Mesut Ozil got another goal right at the very end to seal the 4-1 victory. But I think we'll always remember that game, won't we, for the Jack Wilshire goal. And of course... Wilsh has been in the news, hasn't he, lately? Of course, he hasn't got a club, has he? And, and there's possibilities that he could maybe come back to Arsenal, certainly be training with us. Who knows? We may see him back at the Emirates. But of course, I don't think he'll ever match the heights that he showed in this game with that goal. Fantastic stuff. And it finished on that particular occasion, Arsenal 4, Norwich 1. And I'm sure we'd all enjoy a similar result this weekend. <laughs> So over the years, and there's been quite a few players that's played for both Arsenal and Norwich City, I thought I would feature one who maybe had a big say in the history of Arsenal, of course, that is Andy Linegan. He was born in June 1962. He started with his local club, Hartlepool. He also played for Leeds and Oldham before he joined Norwich in March 1988. In the end, he played 74 league games for Norwich and scored six goals before joining Arsenal in the summer of 1990. It was £1.2 million we paid for him 
uh, as a sort of cover really for Steve Bold and Tony Adams who are of course the first choice partnership. He did play a few games in that first season when we won the league title, only losing one game of course. There was a spell when Tony Adams was in prison of course, so Andy Linnigan played a few games there. But it was of course a couple of years later, the 1992-93 season when he really made his name for himself at Arsenal. Earlier that season he scored his first goal at one of his former clubs, Oldham. And then of course at the end of the season he of course scored the winning goal in the FA Cup final replay in the 122nd minute, the latest ever goal scored in the FA Cup final. A brilliant header um, from Paul Merson's corner to give Arsenal the FA Cup. Of course, he'll always be remembered for that. He did end up staying at Arsenal until 1997 uh, when he left to join Crystal Palace. He did play 157 games for Arsenal, scored eight goals, although he'll always be remembered for that one in particular. He later played for QPR, Oxford and St Albans before retiring. So the Arsenal player that's played for both Arsenal and Norwich that I thought I would feature today is, of course, Andy Linnigan. So in terms of current form then, of course, both teams sit the bottom two places in the Premier League, as I say, without a point and just one goal between us. That was, of course, Timo Pukki's penalty for Norwich against Leicester in their last match. But going back into last season, Norwich actually ended with just two defeats in their last 18 games. And they were, in fact, unbeaten in their previous nine away games in the league before the 5-0 defeat at Manchester City um, a few weeks ago. Of course, for us then, we've lost all three games in the Premier League without scoring a goal, as we know. Um, But that came on the back of a decent run at the end of last season, where we won our last five games of that campaign. Because we haven't lost four in a row in the Premier League since 1995. Of course, that run did actually end with a 5-1 home victory over Norwich. So in terms of the lineups then for Saturday, Norwich have been lining up like this in their previous games this season. Tim Crawl, of course, is in goal. Their back four, of course, has been Aarons, Gibson, Hanley and Williams, who played in the last game. Of course, he's on loan from Liverpool. In midfield, they've had a three of Gilmore, Lees, Malou and McLean. And then the three up front have been Cantwell, Rashika and Pukki. I don't imagine they're going to go too far away from that lineup against us at the weekend. There are a few other possibilities. Young player Roop in midfield has done pretty well when he's played. They've got Zimmerman as an option at the back. Young Sergeant as well in the front three. He did score a couple of goals in the Carabao Cup this season. But that's the lineup I'm expecting from Norwich. In terms of us then, I mean, who knows? We did, of course, play a three at the back in a friendly, didn't we, against Brentford recently, plus the three at the back we played at Manchester City. We've got a few players back again. Will he go with the three at the back this time? If he does, then you'd imagine it will be White, Gabriel and possibly Holding as the three. Then maybe the four across midfield. I think right back, I'm not sure if Tammy Asu is going to be ready to play. He's just, of course, come back from playing for Japan. He's only going to have been at the club a day or two. I'm not sure if he'll be ready to go straight into the side. So it could possibly be Cedric Suarez or Callum Chambers playing in that right back position. Now Hector Bellerin's gone in midfield. Let's hope Thomas Partey is fit. And if he is, I would expect him to partner Laconga, of course, with Granit Xhaka currently suspended. Um, and in the left back position or left wing back, you'd imagine Kieran Tierney would come in there. Of course, if it's a back four, you'd probably expect to see Chambers, White, Gabriel and Tierney as the back four. And then in the front end of the pitch, um, I think Smith Rowe and Saka will probably be either side of Aubameyang. Of course, Erdegaard as well had a great game in midweek for Norway could possibly play in the number 10. It does depend on the system that Mikel Arteta is going to go with. If he's looking for the three at the back, then there's not really a place for a number 10, is there? So I'm not sure whether Erdegaard might play on the right instead of Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe, of course, has been suffering from a an illness, so maybe he won't be fit. So we have got a few options. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly what system we use for this game. But that'll be the lineups I'll be expecting. <laughs> So a score prediction, and I mean, nothing else other than an Arsenal victory is going to be acceptable in this game. Under normal circumstances, we'd almost take it for granted, wouldn't we, that we'd beat Norwich at home. As I say, we've got a great record against them over the years. But of course, things are slightly different now. We're under a lot of pressure. Having lost all our first three matches, I say not even scoring a goal, it's massively important that we do get a result here. It doesn't matter if it's a scrappy 1-0 or whether we get some big wins as we've had previously against Norwich. The only thing that matters here is getting the result. I think it's going to be a very tense game. I think the nerves 
are going to kick in. We have got a few players back from injury and illness, which is going to be a big boost. Um, so I'm expecting a better performance. There's no real excuses now from Arteta, is there? Now we've got our full team back or near enough our full team back. We need to start seeing some better performances. I think we might start slowly because of the pressure. Um, but I think if we get the first goal, I think Norwich may well crumble. I can see the final score here being Arsenal 3, Norwich 0. So that's my preview there of this big game at the weekend against Norwich City here at the Emirates Stadium. As I say, it's a must-win game for Arsenal. Anything other than three points would really, really pile the pressure on Mikel Arteta and a defeat. You'd have to wonder whether he's able to survive that. But I do feel as though we've got enough quality to beat Norwich. And I say we have a few players back from injury. Maybe this is what we need to kickstart our season. Let's get on a run. Of course, we've got the North London derby coming up in a couple of weeks as well. So it's important that we go into that game with a little bit of confidence. So, yeah, it's a, it's a big game for Arsenal. I, I do feel as though we will win this game. We don't want to read too much into it. I do want to see, uh, obviously, a lot of better performance with a slightly stronger starting eleven available. So we'll see what happens. But this is going to be, in a way, you could say this is the start of the season. It starts this weekend with this game against Norwich. Yes, the three games that's gone, we, we mustn't forget how poor we were. But equally, we need to put them behind us and say, right, the season starts here. We've got players back. There's no excuses now. Let's go out there. Let's put a performance in and let's get the right result. So coming up on the channel then, there's loads of great stuff as we head into a busy part of the season. I say I will be covering the Arsenal women as well. I can't do a watch along of their game on Thursday, but I will be doing some coverage of that game. There will be a watch along, of course, of the Norwich game on Saturday as well. Three o'clock kickoff, I'll be going live about quarter to three with all the build up, the team news, etc. And in full match commentary. Before that, on Friday night, it's going to be the Arsenal women's show. We're going to be looking back on the opening weekend of the WSL season. Got the usual panelling from last week, a really good show that is. That'll be 7.30 on Friday, so stay tuned for that. On Sunday, of course, the Arsenal women are back in action at Reading. Again, I can't do a watch-along, unfortunately, because I've got other things on, but I will be giving some coverage to that game. I'll be doing a match review and all that kind of stuff, so please stay tuned to the channel for that. And then on Monday, I'll be doing a review of this Norwich game. And then, of course, next week, we'll be building up towards the game at Burnley, another big game for Arsenal. We'll have the Tuesday clinic, obviously, on Tuesday at 7.30. Loads of other stuff as well, and another Arsenal women's show as well next week. So loads and loads coming up on the channel. So if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It is free of charge. It does help the channel to grow. Please give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. Share the content around. And say, drop your comments in the box. What you make of this game against Norwich? What do you think the score will be? What will the lineup be? What system will Mikel Arteta employ in this game? A lot of questions still to be answered. So let's see how we go. But please, please, please drop your comments in the box. So thanks for your support of the channel over the last few weeks. I have a lot of new subscribers. Hope you're enjoying what I'm doing. If so, please um, share, share the content around and get a few more people to subscribe as well. And of course, in the meantime, we head towards this massive game. Relegation six point. Who'd ever have thought Arsenal would be involved in one of them? Still early in the season though, isn't it? I'm sure we'll turn it around. Come on, you gunners. Come on, three points, goals needed. Come on, Arsenal, let's do this. Wow. 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 Wow.